In this video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how I'm going to create a professional Facebook page and how you can too. Okay, I'm going to work you step by step from start to finish how I created this page. And this is another example. We're going to copy the model of Fashion Nova, which has more than 2.5 million people. And I'm going to show you how I actually create a very simple profile but effective profile picture like this but also a very beautiful cover like this that shows you the link of your website and now i'm going to show you how you can do your first post do your gallery post that can create more momentum on your page and more sales so watch this video until the end why should you even create a page is because today is one of the best time to sort of start your business okay if you if you haven't started an online business, then you're missing out. Now, if you have a business and you're not online, your business is going to die. I think Bill Gates said, if you're not on the internet, then your business will not exist in the future. And he's right. A lot of people are on Facebook just to scroll down on their feed, like pictures, like videos, and then that's it. That's all they do. Comment, go on group and leave comments and stuff. But you don't realize that Facebook is so powerful. It has something that we call the business manager where you can launch ad and everything. But this is not the point of this video. Now, from here, from your Facebook, normal Facebook, how do you start a page? If you are on the new Facebook, this is how the new Facebook looks like. There is a Facebook classic and the new version. On the new Facebook to create a page, literally come here on this plus button. Facebook has grouped all the options on that under that plus button. You can create a post, a story, a live event. You come here and you can also create an ad, a group, an event, everything. You come here on the page. Here, you put the name, for example, you want to say, the MMS X the category that's business for example you can add up to three categories so just just make sure you or if you don't know then just tap here and then start scrolling down and look at all the the categories right here now if you're not a business you can actually click on not a business and then you type what the, the page is about again write about what your business does the services and everything this page is for i don't know tigers lover or entrepreneurs blah 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 and then you click on again this is the preview okay desktop preview and then this is how it will be on mobile now there is a difference and then you click on create a page when you're done you click on create page page is now created you can now add images or go to your page and add more details so right after it allows you to add a profile picture and a cover photo there is a difference between this new version and the classic if, if you cannot see this new version on face of facebook on your on your dashboard on your home page i want you to go on google and search create facebook page and then tap on this one create a page once you click on create a page you will need to select between a facebook business page and a facebook community or public figure page now you click on get started On the category, you click here, shopping, you type here shopping. Now, for example, this is shopping and retail, but you have different things. You can go specific. You can say I'm selling bags or luggages. So this category is important because that will allow Facebook to suggest your page as well to people interested in that sort of things. So shopping and retail, it's a little bit broad, but this is what you can go with. You click here on skip if you have a profile picture already for your business then you upload if you don't fine if you don't have a cover photo then you click on skip but i'll work you on how to do that as well so now this is stuff shopping this is what at least it is like next thing that you want to do you want to come on edit page info you want to fill up some details here if you if your page has a phone number you put here if your page doesn't have a phone number you click here my page doesn't have a phone number but then they say adding a phone number makes it easier for potential customers to contact you that makes sense you click on save now here this is important because you need to write a short description for what your product or your service is about or your business is about just a short summary
if your page has a website you, you enter your website here if it doesn't then you click here it doesn't have a website maybe you can come later in the future if you manage to have a website and then you put that here now the email if your page has an email you put here if it doesn't but then all these contact information allow people to reach you out easily okay so um, now the location you need to make sure that you select the right location because like I said you see now Facebook already target it showed me the location that I pointed and and it's important because it will show a lot of my product or pictures to people around that location okay so this is very important if you have specific time that you want people to reach you out to you put Monday Tuesday whatever and that's it now I'm just gonna put always open and now if you have a website as well then you want to enter the privacy policy link for example, let me show you an example. If you come here at the mmsexperience.com and you sort of scroll down, you have a privacy policy URL that will talk about the protection of people personal information. So you copy that link, for example, if this is your website and you come here and you paste that link, okay? Facebook cares about your privacy policy. Don't, don't play with that. Next thing that you wanna do if you have an Instagram account, which I suggest as well you create, then you come here under Instagram and then you connect your Instagram account here. This would allow you to cross share pictures between Facebook and Instagram. Okay, this is important as well. If you have other people that you want to work with, okay, you come here on page row. This allows you, for example, to get one of your friend as maybe an editor. Okay, these are the different role. Admin, editor, moderator, advertiser, analyst. If you have one of your friends that man manages the ads of, of your product, you can add him on this page as an advertiser. If you have another friend that if you don't have time and you want him to be an admin, then you select admin and you just type their name here and then you can add them. Now, after that, you come back here on general or even before general, you come back here on WhatsApp. If if your business because facebook is on whatsapp is owned by facebook and then it's easy as well to connect your whatsapp to facebook if you have a, a business phone number or a business whatsapp where you want people to reach you out then you click here on whatsapp and then you enter your whatsapp here and then you connect that with facebook and then that will allow you that will allow people when they visit your Facebook page to reach you out on WhatsApp as well. This is very effective because WhatsApp has more than a billion users. So think smart. The next thing that you want to do is that you want to come here in general and make sure that on the page visibility, this is page published. That means your page is live. If it's not, then you click here on edit and then you click here on page publish and you save. This is what the page looks like. It doesn't look like it's good. What the next thing that you want to do is that you want to give your page as a very simple name because now what you want to do is that you want to click here on see more and about the about section is very important because it allows you to create a very simple username that people can remember. Okay, so if you click here on instead of having a long name with numbers, you can just say here now since the Steph the name Steph shopping with J is not available with G is not available I'm just gonna go without it and then create the username now if Facebook says that your page is not eligible for username then wait a few days post a few pictures and then try it again next thing that you want to do is that you want to come here and tell click on tell people about your story this serve uh, for the SEO of your page because when people will search something specific they will come on that about page and really see if they connect with your business before buying from you write something nice maybe you say now once you're done you save and then this is how it will look like the next thing that you want to do 
is that you want to, uh, before we even get to the profile picture and the cover, you want to add a button. Okay, a button is also very important because when people get on your Facebook from the phone or on the computer, they see this button first. If you get, for example, on Fashion Nova's page, that button shop now. They click on add button. See how beautiful and simple their picture and cover is. And you see, they also have a short name, which we don't right now because Facebook did not allow us. But then uh, maybe after a few days, we're going to try again. They're more likely to allow us. Now, we'll create something like this. So I'll put the link down below of the service that I will use. It's called Spark Adobe. So let me just start from scratch. If you type on Google Spark Adobe. And then you click here on start now or get started now you will not you click on continue with Google you want to click on plus and you want to click here on custom size graphic now what it allow you come back here on popular and now here you can create a square image that will be used for this you see it has many template that you can choose from the one with the yellow orange thing those are premium you need to pay but the one without it is like you don't need to pay if i want to go with this let me just let me just try to create You come here, you download, you, you click on PNG, you can click on GPG, but the PNG is higher quality, so you click here on start download, and then uh, you click here on solid color. You go back on your Facebook, and then you click here on update, you upload the picture, you select the picture, you open, and then you can zoom out or zoom in it depends you go so here you zoom back in until here and then you click on save next thing that you do is that you want to create a cover you can create something very simple like fashion nova just did with the same principle or you can create something different with like a bunch of product that you do uh, that you have but again go for what works two million people simplicity go for simplicity so you go back here on adobe then you go back to project this will automatically save your project okay these are my projects right here so you come back here and then you click here on custom size graphic you click here on standard now you can go on banner or you come here on popular and you click here on facebook it all depends on what you want We'll click here on add and I'll add a photo now you can come here and find a free photo once you're found for example this is about shopping so something like that stuff shopping you can add some text okay some text double click on that and you click here stephshopping.com and you're done boom import that picture here stephshopping.com what's the difference isn't that beautiful boom you click on save and you are good to go Okay, now you start inviting your friends to like your page. You start posting, you come here on photo. This is where you come, okay. So for example, you come here on photo. This is where you write your new post. You type here and write the post, your new post. Click here on photos. And then you select the first five most beautiful pictures of your gallery. And then you click, you type here quality products blah 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 shop at this contact this phone number 
blah 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 and you click on post now you just start posting regularly this is what i wanted to show you how to create a professional facebook page for your business and start advertising your page you can just simply click on share and then you can share it on your timeline or in a group or on another page or in a private message. Everybody today should have a Facebook business page for their business. So it's what I wanna show you today. If you think this is useful, this is all about providing value to you for free. Start now, it's not too late. This is the right time. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Peace.